Hello and welcome, it's Jilly. I am here in my art room, Queensland, Australia. I'm gonna mix it up, mix it up day. Um, I've got a few colours left over that I need to uh, get rid of because we're going away. Um, having a little holiday and I hope to film you guys a little bit of Australiana uh, as we see it. We're going to some Australian inland country places and then we're heading back to the coast to visit my son and I am super duper excited. Even though we live in paradise, it is absolutely so um, heartwarming and beneficial to just get out and have a change of scenery. But I'm excited about my artwork, so I'm always very excited to return home again. But um, so I'm going to use these colours up in the best way. My creative juices um, will allow, I guess that's the word. So um, let's get to it. Let's get to it. So I have this turquoise and some viridian green. As I've explained to you before, now I can let you know that everything is mixed with my new Keep It Simple pouring medium. It's a pouring medium created especially for fluid artwork, um, all different techniques, you know, the balloon kiss, the Dutch pour, the oh, balloon kisses, flip cups, colander pours, it does the lot. It really does and it also creates super duper cells without the use of any flow troll or any um, silicon. A link for it in the drop down box and I am told it's going to be available worldwide but when you click the link to global ask them where you can get it in your country province or city that you're in and they will direct you. Rightio let's get on with this. I am going to, just because I am, I'm going to mix this dark with the light. I'm not going to um, be too fussy about it because I'm trying to use the colours up as I mentioned and I'm going to put a pour of black to kind of create this hopefully marbling effect in it. Now I'm going to pour some of the black around my very edges so I know it's only one cup so it might not cover this whole canvas but we will see won't we so that's all you can do. It might be beneficial for me to just give those edges a um, with my sponge brush so I already coat my edges so I haven't got to kind of waste too much paint tilting it right over the edges. All of the paints that I've been making up for quite a number of months now has been with my pouring medium, but I haven't been able to. Um, I've been testing it and testing it to see if it's, you know, beneficial to us acrylic pourers, acrylic artists of all techniques. Um, so I've been using it and it, I do dilute it in exactly the same way as I did previously, 70-30, which makes the actual pouring medium go almost twice as far. So that's what's beneficial about it. Okay, let's get on with this. It is exciting times. I'm excited. Rightio, let's give this a go. So this is just this lovely flip cup in there. I'm gonna flip it. So it's gonna be a multi-technique, which I've been doing of late because it's, it's good practice for people that are beginners um, and it's, it's still beneficial and works out lovely for seasoned artists too, to mix the techniques. Probably shouldn't have put so much black in there. Silly jilly. Anyway, I'm pretty sure I can get this jazzed up, hopefully. I maybe should have used a bit more paint, but that's okay. No worries, I'll work it out as I go along. I certainly don't measure and measure each paint 
for each canvas. I just don't. I'm not that type of person. I don't measure when I cook either. I just add it. And um, lucky enough, all these years, it seems to have turned out my family don't complain about the cooking. So there you go. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Not too worried about it going to the corners because I'm gonna. I've got a little bit of other stuff going to go on in the corners of this particular piece. So this is on a 30 by 40 canvas. Wow, that's a bit. Look at that lacing that's appeared there, just like as if it was like a flow troll lace. So. That's how I'm getting some super duper results with this pouring medium by actually just changing up the um, uh, consistency. You get different results with thinner consistency, thicker. Con it's, yeah, it's a uh, you beaut, super duper winner winner, chicken dinner. So, what colour I'm going to add? I'm going to, what am I doing? I'm going to do a bit of wiggle wiggles in the corner. Some more than others. Not doing it equal. Listen to my gecko, he's having a good old tut 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 there. He loved what I've been doing, don't you, Mr. Gecko? Sure he does. Rightio, let me think what colour I can put in this that I've got left that'll give it a zap. I've got a little bit of the um, bright red, cool red, or sometimes called brilliant red. I might be doing a bit overboard for this smaller canvas, but I want to use up the colors and I'm pretty sure it will be perfectly fine. So just the wiggle wiggles, wiggle wiggle. Just because I have it left, I have this lovely purple. So I'm going to add some purple. I think I added a colour with the purple last week and these colours that just really, I think it was orange. Oh, I'm gonna give it a go. I hope that maybe I'll just try it in this one area. Then if it works out, then I can add it, can't I? So, let me give it a go. Look at this, that's just a whole lovely effect and would have been perfectly fine on its own. I'll just grab my heat wand, give it a burst. this corner first don't I so I do get asked every single time where did you get your little dryer it is just a, called a, a baby lease from bay baby bay lease I haven't seen them still available uh, in my Amazon shop they have got them the same in a different color and the reason why the handle goes backwards my husband said is not a trait that the hairdryer actually came out with it's because it's broken but i just find this backward handle is perfect and i really would like to find a company that will make these blowers just cold blowers doesn't need to be hot with this shape handle because it is really perfect for blowing out my husband said he can uh, modify the other dryers um, the same and he can also um, modify so they don't have the heat element but I am not going to allow him to do that because I wouldn't like to um, yeah, cause any problems. Radio. I think I should blow this off first. Try 
letters. So you get the cells come up. So this is the beauty of this product. It'll do both. If you want cells, you can get cells. And if you don't, you don't. So let's try this corner. I think I'm going to go without the orange. What do you guys think? I think it looks better without. make sure I've got that background it kind of makes it like a 3d effect and because this was going to be a multi technique then what does a jelly pour have to have oh look at that that's gorgeous I'm going to in the center of my my um, botanical effect I'm going to pushing my balloon Wow, wow, wow. I think just in the center is perfect. Just to give it a balloony effect. And then I think just a few with my skewer. Probably should have done that first and then the balloon afterwards, but that's okay because I can still, actually I'll show you what I'll do in a minute. Do my balloon, uh, my skewery thing. Add some little kind of breaks it up a bit, but it, it kind of does look 3D like it's floating there with that background. It's kind of, um, what do you call it? The Hawaiian. Um, hibiscus flower kind of thing very effective now I will go in with my smaller balloon back in the center where I've just put those uh, skewery bits nana there you go wow that's nice and then I can collect a bit of paint from elsewhere to push back in there that's kind of nice too. Oh, that's nice. Collect a bit of paint. I can see all sorts of eyes and little animals appearing in this pour, which is a bit bizarre. So bizarre, so bizarre. Oh, that is super duper different. But even though I've used techniques that you see me use all the time it does look completely different I think I prefer these three colors and not that orange what do you guys think I think it's so much I think those are a little bit more classier than the orange but um, it's still super duper and it really does give um, a 3d effect as though it's standing up away from the background yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm so excited about my art of late. I was having a really dull period where I couldn't get motivated. And you still have those days, weeks or months. But you really, if, if art or whether it's gardening or exercise is your thing, you're allowed to go through those lulls. Just pick it back up again and renew your love of the actual whole process which is what I feel to be going through at the moment so I'm in love with the process again isn't that wonderful and I hope that you guys find something that you love too sad lonely or depressed please 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 ring a family member or a friend or definitely a helpline do not suffer in silence I know I say it all the time but some people may just be watching this for the very first time and it may actually be just what they need to hear so 
don't suffer in silence, my lovelies. Okay, watch out for the photos at the end. The um, setup that you see on the end, the picture on the wall is called Wall Picture App. There's a link for it down below in my description box. There's also the link will be for the new pouring medium. Please give it a go. I would love to know how you find it. They've got links on the bottle when you scan the bottle to go straight to the mixing video that I've put up, put on there for mixing this particular paint and for other ideas and you can actually do any type of pour you choose and they all turn out well I mean some people you we all need um, persistence but you will enjoy it I'm sure so my lovelies I'm going off for a lovely holiday hopefully I will be adding a little bit of footage of a little bit of Australia so um love to bring you all with me come come to australia come on a big tour together that would be nice wouldn't it a big caravan what is it when they're like all the wagons are all following around australia wouldn't that be wonderful gosh is there any tv show out there that can set up a big acrylic boring caravan tour of australia <laughs> i'm going crazy that's i need a holiday Okay, bye for now.